Hey guys, National Master James Cancy III here, and today we have another exciting puzzle. So let's get right into it. Now before we get started, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button right under the video. Make sure you follow the socials of Super Nezzy here. And leave some comments, guys, if you like the content or if you want to see any other puzzles and stuff like that. Thank you so much. Let's get right into it, man. Now, before we do, I actually want to show you guys and let you know right now. Pause the video because it's white to move and win. Let's get right into this and let me show you what's going on. White's going this way. Okay. White's going this way. Black's going this way. So I'm threatening the queen with the black pieces. There's two knights and a bishop. Decisive material. White has nothing but pawns. It sounds crazy. When I say that white to move and win. So pause the video and see if you can find some stuff. You may come back in 30 minutes because you may have to calculate that much. But let's see what happens here. It is white to move and win. Pause the video. Now, looking at this, let's see what's going on and see how does white win this. I mean, we'll be happy to even get a draw. What is our options? We have a check here. We have G7. We have this and maybe a king move. That's it. Well, let's get right into it. Let's try G7 first. G7, we have to queen because he's about to queen. So we need to queen very quickly. So let's see what happens. After G7, it goes knight C4 check, forcing white to only one square, which is king to A4. Now after king to A4, black makes another check here. Cool with me. We can maybe move around somewhere. Cool, that's fine. I'll go for a draw, but actually I'll go king A5 and see if we can repeat moves and take a draw. I'll gladly take one. But black has this nice move, knight to c7, actually restricting some squares here. So you know what? He's restricting some squares. I'm just going to queen. But I actually fail on the spot. Bishop to b4. That's checkmate. Very nice, beautiful checkmate here with two knights and a bishop by the black pieces. So going back, looks like that doesn't work. So let's try maybe king to b3. Well, king b3 looks like that works for me. And then after king b3, I'm going to get a queen with the black pieces. White is like, you know what? Cool, I'm fine too. I'll get a queen. I'll get a queen as well. But based off of you queening and not being able to get back in enough time to block any checks or etc., the black queen goes to f3. There's a check, and there should be checkmate to follow, especially with the bishop and knight. Very close proximity to checkmate. Queen a3 check. King here. Forcing. Everything's forcing here. Queen check. If the king goes here, there's checkmate here. And if the king goes to c1, there's checkmate on c2. So there's no way out of that. So that means we just can't play g7. Looks like g7 does not work. Well, how about h6? Well, h6 doesn't help because I'm not even queening. There's nothing else to play. King here is hopeless. I have b6. I have a check. You know what? Let's play the check here. b6. Well, wait a second. Everything changes. The king goes back to a8. So now if I push g7 and we go into some of these same lines again, I actually have a check which may actually almost be checkmate. Looks like we might be okay here. So king goes back to a8. Let's go g7. We might as well. We have nothing else left to do. g7 is played. g7 is on the board. We go with a queen for black. White goes with a queen. Uh-oh, we're back in the game. Bishop to b8. This is all forced so far. a7. a7 threatening checkmate on the move. Queen takes b8. Mate. So black goes knight c6 check. Interesting move here because if knight to c4, then I can go king a6 and I'm threatening checkmate. Whoa, weird craziness is happening. All kinds of things are happening. King a6 and it'll be queen c4 and back and forth, back, back and forth stuff. So, um, from there, but knight to c6, king. If I there's a there's a few things that can happen after knight to c6 check. I can play king to a6, but that's not a move because queen f1 is just checkmate, so that's not fun. How about king a4? Okay, well, king a4 runs into queen e4, and I should be getting mated very soon, just like in the, la the last line we saw before. And king b5, uh, king b5 runs into knight d3, just because the knight's getting closer to the king after we capture here, um, or actually not capturing. We should capture here. Yeah, that's better, because that's, that's, that's another queen. And the knight takes b8, b7 check. It's crazy. This line gets really wild. King a, uh, king a7, followed by queen to e6 here with some mating threats, but then we have queen b1, king c4, knight d7, and it's going to get very, very weird here. If queen takes here, knight, knight e5 check, knight e5, b8 queen, king takes, uh, queen d6, king c8, queen c6, king d8, queen h, it's, it's a long line, a very long line here, very long, but at the end of this line, black's winning, queen two knights versus a queen and a pawn, it's just not enough material. 
there is not enough material yet so left so going back knight to c6 the only move that really makes sense is just taking this d takes c6 queen takes h5 and now everyone pause the video right here pause the video right here there's an article out there on chess space that actually says this move right here is the mother of all moves guys the mother of all moves i want you to take a second pause the video and see if you can find the best move here the best move here let's look at some options here how about king a4 let's just step out of the way well you know what it looks like checks everywhere and we kind of went from like almost losing with only pawns on the board to now almost winning with checkmate almost everywhere so we kind of almost don't want to draw here let's see what happens actually so with king a4 check queen b3 queen a1 and it, it looks like it's going to be a perpetual well how about king b4 okay we got some checks i mean there's just checks galore how about king a6 same thing there are checks galore everywhere well after queen takes h5 guys if you pause the video you came back and you said what's the move here it is right here queen to g5 double x clam what do you mean i am giving up my queen here what does that even mean well let's check it out guys queen takes g5 king a6 what an x clam there are no good checks on the board followed by checkmate on b7 can you believe that this is actually happening on the board right now so now after we have a queen a5 check because queen a5 is supposed to happen because there's nothing else to do after king takes on a5 there's a bishop takes on a7 followed by c7 now i'm about to queen and if you try bishop takes b6 that just doesn't work because now this is not stalemate because this you have a knight you have a knight so it's actually checkmate so you have to move that knight and after c7 king to b7 take on a7 and whoa i'm queening one of these pawns are about to be queen unbelievable puzzle let's look at that from the beginning again this looks wild this is why you always have to use your resources calculate don't resign are you serious how can you not resign in a position like this i'm about to queen with the black pieces i'm up three whole pieces and all white has is the pawns not even a piece to help g7 seems like that would be the right move but it's just not this pawn's too far away and the only thing you really do have is a check but in combination with this pawn and the king being all the way over here with the clever tactics that it has just ends up being a very good win for white unbelievable check king here g7 g7 then here's the queen on the board and then we make our queen on the board as well with check forcing bishop to b8 a7's on the board there's no good checks so there's um bishop uh, queen takes b8 coming knight to c6 check takes queen takes a4 and queen g5 queen g5 again queen takes g5 king a6 how do you get out of this like black has to do something black has to do something here i mean this is a uh, very very interesting i mean absolutely interesting how this worked out even bishop takes his c7 c7 guys like mate in two different areas what in the world this is such a great position never seen anything like it the mother of all moves was queen to g5 like that's great stuff so queen takes king here queen a5 check king takes bishop takes a7 this doesn't work of course because king b8 now you're actually losing I think it's losing yeah it is because it would be bishop and knight trying to checkmate with the bishop and knight it's very difficult uh, unless you know the methods to it but here's the push pawn and then we're, we're going to queen king b7 and then pawn takes bishop it's funny because black thinks he actually can still draw this after king b7 because then after we take this now you have to notice that you're queening i'm queening now so if you take this one i queen this one and this knight is left because this would look like a stalemate but it's actually not because you stay out of the knight how about i take this one? Oh, i queen the other one there's no way out of it how about i take none of them well then i'll queen one of them and you take that one and i'll queen the other one there's no way out unbelievable the mother of all moves queen g5 it's on the board you saw it one more time for all of you guys b6 first use your resources g7 he makes a queen i make a queen we go bishop b8 let's make an awesome threat which is checkmate knight to c6 he's trying to play for counterplay we take it they take here and there's check 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 everywhere with perpetual but white says not today queen g5 and we have a most 
amazing tactic you've seen all day today, I'm assuming. So thank you so much for watching this. This is a puzzle again from Leopold Mitrofanov. And um, actually, I want to actually talk about Soviet Grandmaster Alexander Belovisk uh, as well. That was one of his best friends. And they composed puzzles together. And actually, Leopold Mitrofanov was um, a, a international master of 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 composing puzzles again he's very very awesome at that 300 puzzles 40 of them were first place and tao says that you know um the, his puzzles look like no other they look like no other it just says a lot when you see a puzzle like this after queen g5 they keep going and all the lines that can happen i've never seen anything like it as you give up so much material just to come back and win a game chess is such a beautiful game and the resources that you need like this to win games like this is just uh unbelievable when what can happen so hopefully you'll have stuff like this in your games thank you so much make sure you hit the like button subscribe right under this video and uh make sure you follow the social super nezzy i'm national master james canty the third you can follow me on twitter at gm canty twitch.tv slash gm canty everything social media gm canty thank you so much for hanging out here guys and we'll see you on the next one